Now, you might have seen similar stories to this in the newspapers. In this example, Winnie has smoked most of her life, but has still reached 100. You might have also heard similar anecdotes from family and friends. Correlation does not necessarily mean causation. Exposure does not always result in a disease. And it might be more useful to think of these risk factors as contributive factors. For every risk factor, there is always a Winnie. In the case of smoking and lung cancer, there is a body of evidence that shows that she is in the minority. So we say smoking causes lung cancer. But it is more complex than that. Previous research has tried to very broadly summarise the relative proportional influence of factors or determinants of health. When we look at what determines health, only about a quarter of the variation in health status of a population can be explained by individuals' characteristics, their biology and their own behaviour. In terms of genes and biology as a determinant, we include age and sex as well as genetic and biological markers. And in terms of health behaviours, we include alcohol use, smoking, exercise and what we eat as well as specific behaviours such as sharing needles during drug use and unprotected sex. Medical care includes access to quality health care as well as health literacy, the ability to obtain, understand and use information to make decisions about health. But this determinant only explains a similar variation in the health status of a population to those with health behaviours. The determinants with the largest influence in terms of explaining the variation in health status of a population are social and societal characteristics and total ecology. Social environment or social characteristics include, for example, discrimination, income, gender and cultural issues. Physical environment or total ecology include where a person lives and the conditions in which they live. The absence of a radial line separating total ecology from social and societal characteristics reflects the lack of evidence at the moment to disentangle these factors. In reality, there is a complex interplay between all of these factors or determinants. It is hard to tease apart because they are all interrelated. For example, poor people tend to live in deprived areas with few facilities and resources, while health risk behaviours are socially patterned.